guys today's book hey, hey today's book is um it's um how will i put it now it's a bass boss like it's everywhere everybody's talking about this book by damilario cuckoo and i was like i must read this book and if you're in nigeria and you stay in lagos and you've not read this book you should do yourself justice by going to read this book okay the title of this book is nearly all the men in lagos are mad like <laughs> Like, look at the title. I was Demi Kuku is an actress, a Nigerian actress, and I'm pretty sure you know her. Um, you also want to read this book. It's a nice one. Nearly all the men in Lagos are mad. I've not been to Lagos as it were, but I have. I have heard so much about Lagos. The traffic light, the way the men cheat. You know, the way a, a man can be dating you, but he's actually married to another woman in the same Lagos. So a lot. So this book drew so much attention, and with the way it, um, the way it is drawing a lot of tractions, and coming from our own actress, Damilari Koko, I said I was going to read this book. So guys, welcome here. If you're just joining us for the very first time, this is Smash Book with Miracle Chisom, and I am Miracle Chisom. Um, do well to subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you're just joining us for the very first time, or one more, come to the space. This is where we talk about good books, amazing books, award-winning books, and books that has the tendency to win an award. And so welcome back to all our amazing returning viewers. So this book, nearly all the men in Lagos are mad. <laughs> I don't even know where to start from. First of all, it's a short story. So it's not like a one-story thing. It's just short story this story end this particular story this story end this particular story and it's made up of 12 stories of different men in lagos or different women's on the women in lagos nigeria so i think the first one started with shigolo the particular guy shigolo who um forced his wife manipulated his wife to please one sleep with a particular wealthy rich man for money the wife at first didn't want to do it though but you know the husband manipulated her into doing it and finally she did it and then the man gave her a very big amount of money with that money they were able to move to this new beautiful apartment and they were living just fine but later you see the man accusing his wife of um being an adulteress and Telling the woman that I even sure that the child that they have is for him, like both of them made. <laughs> Indeed, we are mad. <laughs> so you see, he questioning the wife. The wife, out of you know bitterness, like is not this man. And so we see that one night she brought a knife and she said she was going to cut off the man's baby making, you know, the baby making um, part of the body. And so it was funny at some point. The man called for a meeting and he called for a family meeting that only his family member came. The girl's family member were nowhere to be found in the meeting. I am not supposed to give you a spoiler in this book, but you need to go and read this book by Damilare. I think the second one, this particular guy, his own is that he used to um, go and go after wealthy, wealthy women. Like even if they are married, though, he does not care. You go after them, try to play them, you know, they fall in love with you, he will marry them. Like this guy literally marries women. Married women, said, go or married or marry, he will marry them. Then at some point into the marriage, he's going to divorce them and take part of their property. So that is that guy's own. However, I love this particular girl's own where um, she, hey, men. Lagos men has dealt with her. So at this point, she said she's not going to, she has nothing to do with any Lagos Nigerian men that she wanted Oyibo. In case you're not in Nigeria and you're wondering what Oyibo is, in Nigeria, we refer to anybody that is not black but white as Oyibo. Whether you're from Asia, whether you're an American, as far as you're not black, we will refer you as Oyibo. So in this particular book, we see this girl saying that she needs, she, she in fact, she wants to date an Oibo guy. So it was, she was so desperate about dating an Oibo guy that you see her going to a shopping mall where, you know, all these white, white guys are, then she'll be there, she'll be shopping, and she'll be looking at them, you know, trying to get their attention. Like she was just shown, anywhere she hears that white guys are going there, that is Oibo is there, or more, she'll, she'll run to that place. 
so she just kept on doing it until one day her friend called her and was like, ah, there is this restaurant to oh, you both people food for yeah, all this kind of thing. Oh my, we raised she ran to the restaurant. And while we were there, you could see her, um, you know, she was using a particular um, I think vernacular, she was asking, this one no Ibo, this one no Ibo, this one no Ibo, this one no Ibo. But I think she let her got what she wanted. She finally found an Oibo. <laughs> She finally found I know. I feel this part. I feel most ladies do it. Like they deliberately tell themselves that they are going to marry an Oyibo. I don't know why few people do it. So but we see that at some point she gets my she what she wanted, she could achieve it. Then we see another particular lady, a very nice, beautiful woman who gets married to this particular man and few years into the marriage, or months into the marriage, she notices that her husband is a gay. Like so the man actually married her just to cover up so as not to um so that the community or the society doesn't condemn him. So even if he knows that he doesn't really have any attachment for this lady, he just marries her. You can imagine. And I feel I feel it's not right. Because the lady is going to suffer it at the end. She'll be feeling lonely. So we see this particular woman that her husband is a gay. She tells this, um, should I say, a lady she looks up to. And when she tells this lady, the lady too that she looks up to more like, um, should I say, a superior. The, ladies, the lady too, her husband is also gay. So, indeed, Lagos men are mad. <laughs> like, <laughs> so, but with these women, we see them showing this feminist strength. They form a union among themselves where they spoke to themselves so that um, they don't feel left out in life. They try to live and they try to take care of their children, irrespective of the, um, their spouse um, attitude or whatever the term spouse was doing. So you see them creating this strong bond among themselves. We also see this particular group of people. Um, this particular woman that her husband, um, who is a pastor, sleeps around with small children and all the rest of those, like, abusing girls. And you see the pastor's wife doing everything to make sure that those small girls don't drag, <laughs> drag the pastor's name into mud. So this book is a whole lot. Like, I enjoyed it. And it really, um, though I had nothing in mind when I was reading the book, I was just inquisitive. Like, I really wanted to know what is this book about? Like, what is this book? This book is everywhere. And I finally um, satisfied my curiosity. I didn't tell you everything in this book. And I didn't mention some few things because I want you to go and get this book. It's everywhere. But the thing is that when you go into a bookshop, this moment you are seeing the book, nearly all the men in Lagos are mad. As soon as you turn, you may look and you may not see the book because people are actually rushing the book. People want to read, like, what does Damilari has to say about this book or what is really inside this book, especially Lagos men. Lagos men are inquisitive to know what they are saying about them. So you may just want to grab a copy of this book. It's affordable or you could also get it online or listen to the audio book online. Um, it's a nice read. Enjoy yourself while doing that. This is Mars Work with Miracle Chisome. Do not forget to subscribe, like our video, share our links, and I hope to see you in our next video.